Give pass that to the pack. It is pack here. In today's video, I'm covering the 10 historic players that 2K has updated their hair and face in the game. It's always a big deal when 2K gets historic players and making sure their faces and hair are updated correctly. And I want to cover all of them in today's video. If you like that kind of content, when it comes to players' updates, ratings, rosters, scans, all that kind of stuff, please join the pack and subscribe. Feel like talk about it every single day. Let's get it made. First up, we have on the Atlanta Hawks of 1991, it is Blair Rasmussen. He's a 74 overall center that's been added into the game with a B midi. He had a B inside defense. Like, he was not that bad. He had a game or, or season where he was having 13 points per game almost on um, almost 10, 10 rebounds a game. That's actually pretty good. The field goal percentage is never great for the center, but he wasn't a bad player per se. Like, for sure not. Let's look at his face game. So, I don't have the actual... I guess before and after because some of these players didn't even have it before in the first place but here you see the face scan is actually a pretty damn good job they even have the moles on the side of his face done correctly the eye color is very accurate the hair for that time very poofy but straight and like they actually got it right the beard hair like the facial hair it's not like they actually has facial hair coming out but it's like barely out like the stubble is perfect it's really really impressive how far 2k has come and they're even getting players that we don't really use that much historic players they're getting them right too it's always a big deal when 2k does that that's a very very good face hand for blair rasmussen and a great start to this video in my personal opinion now we're going to go to the 2002 cleveland cavaliers and we're going all the way down to milt palacio he's a 72 overall player with a b midi he also has a b plus perimeter defense and a minus playmaking uh, he only averaged like three assists per game for one season. He was never really an amazing player, never really had a big role. But on the Cleveland Cavaliers, they do have him right here. Here is his face scan. Now, before he didn't have an actual face scan, but they had like a created player scan. You know, uh, it, it looks good. It does look just like him. I think the beard is the funniest part because he has that like very skinny goatee that he has. Like, and that's that's detail that 2K had to go out of the way to create. It is a very good job. It's it's impressive what they're doing, man. Like, again. You think about this player who's a 72 overall, not that big of a deal when it comes to like a player or his history or what he did, but the team exists in 2K and 2K wanted to get him right. Like they didn't, he didn't have to do this, right? But they got the badges right. They got the signature stuff about him right. The, the attributes and the face scan. It is impressive that these rosters are so deep now. We go back to 1991 with Greg Kite. So Greg Kite's a 73 overall. He has a B inside defense. He had an A minus rebounding. He had a couple seasons where he was averaging around five rebounds a game with like the Celtics and also the Clippers. Uh, mostly a role player more than anything. But oh, look at the Converse. Honestly, those Converse kind of go hard. Here you see he has a wannabe Larry Bird thing going on with the mustache and the hair. It does look almost exactly like him. I always think it's too, it's impressive by 2K. I wonder if they have like their own archive of photos of players. The only photo I was able to find of Greg Kite was this one right here. Super blurry, super hard to see. I wonder if they used the same photo and did their best or they actually had like footage and, and like an archive of photos to get them right. Either way, it looks just like him. I, I think we're not getting enough represented players of the early 90s and 80s with mustaches and the hair designs that like they never really have in 2K. Adding him right here is a very, very good version of him. And he wasn't a terrible player either. Staying in 1991, we're going with the Washington Bullets. And we're going with 71 overall Greg Foster. Now, Greg Foster had a couple years of being a pretty important player with the Lakers, for example. On this one season, he was only averaging four points, three rebounds. Not really an amazing player that year but he's known for his inside defense rebounding. Let's look at his face scan. Now they did not add the tattoo on his arm, which is a damn shame, but here you can see that the face scan is basically perfect. And again, I'm talking about that little like skinny goatee that people, like, players used to have. You can see right there detailed perfectly. The eye color is very good. Like the, the hair on his eyebrows are actually very detailed. The hair on top of his head, this hairline is like McDonald's logo. You have the stubble with the beard at the same time. So many little things going on with this face scan and 2K got it right is extremely impressive and goes to show you how much they can do with so little. It's impressive. Let's go back to 2002 and now we're on with the Detroit Pistons, you know, the championship level Detroit Pistons. And we have Michael Curry. No, not a Curry that you think is important at all, but still Michael Curry. Michael Curry wasn't terrible. He had a couple of years of averaging like seven, seven, six. Like he had a couple seasons of doing pretty okay. He was mostly a bench player, known for his mid-range shooting and his defensive play. 
He was a small forward, he was 34 years old at this point, but he was an important piece to a championship level Pistons. They had the little sweatband for Michael Curry, and they had the face scan perfectly made. I do think it looks like they gave him Botox. Like, it looks like a cartoon character at that point, like how detailed his face is, like in the structure of it. But for the most part, it does kind of look like him. It just, it's just so exaggerated, the bone structure of his face, that it makes him look like a cartoon character. Very impressive in terms of the detail with the mustache, the nose, the like, the see how like the little curve on the nose it has is like very realistic. It doesn't look fake, obviously, in terms of that, like the details being done there. But the face structure, I do think, is just a little over exaggerated. But besides that, I do think they got Michael Curry down pretty damn well. Going back to 1991, we are going to go down here to Winston Bennett, a 72 overall player, mostly known for his perimeter defense and rebounding plays as a small forward. On the Cleveland Cavaliers, he was a bench player, but an important bench player. They have the sweatband on his arm, which is perfect. They have the leg shorts going down all the way past his knees. And the face scan is as perfect as you could imagine. This is actually a very good face scan, probably one of the better ones they've made in a long time. The detail on the beard and exactly how we used to have it. The eyebrows, the hairline, the eye shape, everything about this is actually like basically perfect. I don't know how they could do this better. I've, I've been saying that the graphics and the face scans have gotten so good that it's getting to a point where you need to start focusing on other stuff, like maybe like the body types or the movement of the players, because like the, in terms of the face scans, it's already way too realistic. Up next, we have 78 overall Kenny Thomas on the Houston Rockets. Now we're getting into the important players. This is a 2002 team with Yao Ming and Steve Francis. He was an extremely important player on this roster, a starter for this team. And you can tell right here, the detail on the face is really done well from the beard, the skin tone, the eye shape, the nose shape, the hair, everything about this looks exactly like how Kenny Thomas used to look. It's very, very good. And I do think this one's cool because this is actually a team that most of us are gonna wanna use. That like Yao Ming's team, Francis team was pretty fun. You're gonna wanna use that team with their starters looking correct. And this is one of those players. So he's an important player. The face count is done right. And he was a player that actually was pretty damn good. And you can use him for like my team or even like your own my league and stuff. That's awesome. The next player is the 1991 Timberwolves best player, Tony Campbell, who was a 80 overall player. In fact, I'd argue that Tony Bennett might need to be on the all-time Timberwolves team. This dude was averaging 23, 21, 22 for multiple seasons with the Timberwolves. That's not bad numbers at all. Was he an amazing player? No, but he wasn't bad at all. I think he needs to be like an 84 overall, 85 overall on the all-time team. Definitely deserves to be there. So this is a very important player for sure. And they got the face scan perfectly. It's a super W by 2K. Very, very impressive. It's always important for me to get this player. Like, this is why I get excited about this because there's players that we forget about, right? Like, we look at the all time team in, in the Timberwolves, right? We think of like the obvious players, but we forget about the, the early 90s when they weren't amazing, but they had good players. It's a very, very important thing to do because it gets you to acknowledge these players and remember them and add them onto the all time teams and use them for when your friends and they become household names again and they're not forgotten in history because 2K helps with that especially like the younger people who like never really saw these guys play in the 90s they can learn more about tony campbell and now think of him as one of the greats next player is 89 overall eddie jones eddie jones is an absolutely necessary player to have here he used to be on the lakers the hornets the heat on multiple important teams you would absolutely want eddie jones has updated as correctly as possible because on so many important teams you see right here look at this face scan it is so much better the beard is definitely a little questionable i i don't know exactly what they were planning here so it's not 100 perfect i'll be honest with you but it definitely used to look way worse on the left on the right you definitely see why it's an improvement i still think it's a little suspect not not perfect but I think the face scan itself, like the structure of it's perfect. The ears are a lot more detailed and better, but like, I do think the facial hair and the hair seem a little off. But besides that, it's still so much better than it used to be. And finally, who better than the Iceman himself, George Gervin. I always thought the George Gervin's face scan looked a little off. It was like the older version of George Gervin, but the younger version, the more springier, 30 point per game scoring version of George Gervin, the Iceman looks just like this. It is such a good one. I'm always a big fan when 2K makes the players from the 80s and early 70s, like late 70s look better because I do think that they're kind of underrepresented. And this is a perfect example of someone that you needed to get right. And he looks perfect, like absolutely perfect here. One of the greatest players of all time. I think it's like a 93 overall on 2K and on the Spurs all-time team. He better make sure he looks correct. And right here, he looks actually like perfect. All right, guys, that is 
everyone. What do you guys think about these changes? Which ones do you think need to be changed? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like this channel, please give it a sub. I'll see you guys next time.